Hey guys, what's up? So uh, just a quick update. If you saw the vlog I did, I don't know, a couple of days ago, where I talked about where I made a mistake in that I destroyed my dev server installation before deploying that code base to the live production server and we found a bug and something wouldn't work. And I guessed at the time that it was probably a database issue because the code in the dev server was of course identical to the code being deployed to the production or the live server because we use a re repo, we use GitHub, everything is managed through that. So it had to be something else. It had to either be a server configuration or a database issue. So it wasn't a server configuration because both the dev, the dev installation and the uh, production server were on the exact same uh, virtual private network, excuse me, virtual private server. So it had to be a database issue. Now, typically, well, not typically, but because we had a dev box and a live box being used by actual people, we could not clone the database from the dev box, right? We had to just basically make changes. Now, it's, it's not too often typically with mature app that you're gonna be changing the structure of your database, but we had to do it in this particular instance. Anyhow, so we compared the, uh, structure of the database on the dev box and the database on the production server and they were the same same fields etc etc but when we looked a little closer we saw the problem there was a setting a not null setting on one of the fields which was causing a problem that's all it was now if you don't know database design then this is probably you know gobbledy goop for you but at the end of the day there's like a basically a, 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 an attribute, if you will, a little setting, if you will, on one of the database fields or columns, people might look at them as columns, which was different on the production server than on the development server. And that caused the whole thing, well, that one piece of functionality, which was core, to fail. So we were able to discover that, and once, you know, it took only a few minutes. Once we discovered, it, we went click, uh, it just changed the, just add that attribute to the database field in the production server. <laughs> Bing bang, Bob Jonko, away we go. So that's the update. Uh, yeah, to that story. Little development story there. Ciao, ciao.